Fellow auto detailers, welcome to the show that features interviews with today's most successful auto detailers. This is the Auto Detailing Podcast. Here's your host, Jimbo Balaam. Today, guys, I'm excited to share with you something that has completely transformed the way I do business, and that is my new best friend. It's a customer relationship management software, or CRM for short, by the Better Software Company, or for short, BPRO. BPRO is the number one all-inclusive small business management solution. Customer revenue is the lifeblood of any small business. We've talked about that a lot on the show. And that's why BPRO comes with a variety of features to help you boost your business, including email marketing. Anyone want to do that? How about lead generation? We talked a lot about that at the Detail Marketing Bootcamp. Opportunity management. How about all those quotes that you give out? How about following up on those? BPRO will even remind you when a customer is likely ready to buy from you again. How about that? So a customer comes in for a detail. Hey, maybe in a few months, the software reminds you to follow up with that customer. Imagine that. BPRO has everything you need to run your auto detailing business in one easy to use solution. From customer management, invoicing, inventory, for you guys that have a shop that sell products and detail cars, orders, scheduling, timesheets, all on one platform. BPRO has you covered. Only BPRO offers the same functionality on your smartphone as smartphone as on your laptop. So imagine that you're out on the road, you're out in the field, you're at your shop, wherever you are, everything's in the cloud. So it's all the same no matter where you are. Get started today by going to thebettersoftwarecompany.com. That's thebettersoftwarecompany.com. Tell them you heard about them from Jimbo on the Auto Detailing Podcast. It'll make them happy. You'll get the special treatment. Hey, welcome to this episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. In today's episode, I'm trying to do something unique That's kind of a tricky thing to do and a tricky, really a tricky thing to capture the whole moment of. And that is, but it's also one thing I get a lot of questions about. And that is, how do I, how do you uh, interact with a customer to make sure you're clear? You're both clear on exactly what service is getting done, um, what the customer should expect out of the services, and uh, kind of the, the back and forth between you. So what I attempted to do with the consent of my customer was record uh, our conversation when I got to the car and went over the car with the customer and talked about price and all that stuff. Uh, the downside that I realized later was that we had quite an extensive text exchange before I actually showed up to the car. The check, text exchange also included uh, multiple pictures being sent to me um, so that I can have a good feel for the car. But uh, right now, for some reason, um, I'm getting a lot of these requests for these lease turn-ins uh, details, which I love. I actually love them because uh, the customers can value a detail Um, they know that if they invest a little bit of money into a detail that they're going to recoup that money on the back end from the dealer, not docking them with a bunch of fees and stuff like that. So that is exactly what this conversation that I will play. Um, and, and the reason for the, the long prelude into this is that it's really only a three minute conversation. Um, but this cut, so I want to give you the backlog, but this customer approached me via text only. Um, They didn't call or anything. They shot me a text about 7.30 in the morning, which is fine um, because I pretty much will respond to texts at any any time with a client. Um, So they text me very early in the morning trying to fit in that day. Again, something else I normally don't do is same-day appointments. Um, But in this case, I told her, hey, send me over some pictures um, and I'll let you know if I can squeeze it in today. Because at at least turn in detail is kind of like a pre-sale detail. Um, and, and those are slowly becoming my my favorite details to do because customers have the right expectations. They're willing to spend a pretty dollar for it because, um, again, they know they're going to be recouping that money. But at the same time, um, it's an opportunity to crank these out, make 150 200 bucks, and crank them out in an hour and a half, two hours. So 
that's why I'm really digging these details and I'm getting a lot of calls for them and the customers want to book you know they understand what they're looking for it's an easy sell it's a low stress sell uh, sale but um, and they're fluid man they come easy so I wanted to let you guys in on uh, how I approach so ha- have this mindset and know this that I there was uh, an extensive text exchange uh, prior to me going out to see the car, um, but this is my interaction with the customer from I shot her a text and said, "Hey, I'm here," um, and her coming out, uh, us going over the car together. She had a couple minor. Um, I normally ask, "Hey, are there any problem areas that you're looking for?" Um, but she had already. She kind of jumped the gun and knew that her problem areas that she wanted to get addressed. I told her whether I could fix those or could not. And the ones that I could fix tried to set the right expectations. Um, And again, this is all about being overly clear with your customer. Communication is key and you have to be clear with your clients. Um, And so I hope you get that out of that. And again, it may have seemed excessive, um, but I... Um, wrapped up uh, or summarized what I was going to do for the for her um, so that she was clear on that so she was clear that there would be no carpet shampooing there would be no seat cleaning or conditioning um, there would be there wouldn't be certain things of the detail um, and so that is um, that is what I wanted to bring you guys in on again her voice audio is a little bit lower than mine, obviously, because I'm wearing the mic. She's not. Um, and I wanted to try to make it as raw as possible. Um, but you'll hear us walk around the car. You'll hear her talk and, and point out areas that are bummers. You'll hear her kind of talk about her day. And those are all things that I've talked about on the show that you want to, those little cues you want to pick up on and you want to uh, address or or make sure you're clear with or all those little key points and I hope that really comes out even though the conversation is only three or four minutes long I, I hope those little things come out and that you guys could pick up on those um, and then I- incorporate them into your business um, so you can interact with your customers the right way so without further ado I hope you enjoy my little conversation with a client uh, for at least turn in vehicle um, and, and let me know your feedback. I, I'm interested to know how, what you guys think about this. So hit me up on Facebook. Um, all the links are in the show notes below. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel too. Autodetailingpodcast.com slash YouTube will redirect you. But here's my conversation and my interaction with a client pre-detail. Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Good. I'm okay. Get rid of it. Okay. Perfect. I have the worst lease of all time. Uh, There's bummer. some stupid stuff that you might be able to buff out. This just happens. Yeah, like that's more. not going to be able to come out really? with me. No. no. Okay. That took it down to the middle. Oh, it did. Yeah. And there's a there's like a dent dent, yeah. dent right here, and then yeah, I could just yeah, feel that some, right there. Like, it's not going to come out. So there's that, okay. and then because I was like, I don't even know if I should just fix it all or. This is pretty much down to the middle. Yeah, and this is plastic too. Oh, so the plastic perfect. scrapes. And then um, some of this. Wait. Uh, yeah, that that should come out. Not, not the yeah, not right there, but but I think most of that right there, that line, yeah, will come out. I think that's about it. Um, that might have been good. <laughs> Um, yeah, so basically I'm just trying to clean it out. Sure, um, okay. Because I'm trying to get rid of it. Okay. The inside's the usual. Yeah, I'll just vacuum it all, wipe it down, dust That's it out. It. Okay. Totally basic. I'm sorry we don't have a shaded area. No, this is, I'm used to, this is what I do. Okay. So, um, okay. so the inside so I'll wipe it. Block, let me know. No, I, trust me, I bring some because I'm like a lobster out in the sun, <laughs> so, or I would be. Um. So the inside, yeah, real basic. Just wipe it down, clean it up, clean the cup holders really good. 
Um, the outside, I'll wash it, put a spray wax so it's going to add some shine yeah. and depth to it. I'll work on that scratch right there. Okay, great. Obviously, the other stuff that we discussed and went over. The rims, I'll clean and okay, dress cool. the tires. Cool. Um, clean the windows inside and out. Um, and then just holler at me when you're done okay. and I'll come back sure. out. I'm just rolling conference calls. With yeah, no problem. Out. So pro it'll probably take me probably an hour to an hour and a half. Okay. So, and it'll be, okay. so that'll be. Perfect. Thank you. Do you have the key or does... Because <laughs> I might just back it up a little bit so I can pull my truck. Perfect. Thank you. Today's sponsor of the show is Bluehost. Bluehost offers domains and hosting. If you're looking at buying a domain name or hosting your current domain name, head on over to autodetailingpodcast.com slash website. I've worked out a deal with Bluehost for special discounts and offers for Auto Detailing Podcast listeners, and it also helps me out too. It gives me a little bit of kickback for each one of you that sign up through that website, autodetailingpodcast.com slash website, where you can get a free domain name with a hosting plan. So head on over to autodetailingpodcast.com slash website and pick up that free domain with any hosting package. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Auto Detailing Podcast. Head on over to autodetailingpodcast.com for full show notes and links of everything that we've talked about today. And don't forget to check out our resources page for a direct link to all the products talked about not only on today's episode, but that I use in my day-to-day -day detail business. They have direct links so you can purchase and get free shipping right from that page. That's autodetailingpodcast.com. We'll see you on the next episode.